topic today is uh, also about social media marketing. Uh, I want to go in depth with you together and talk about Facebook Open Graph sponsored stories. Lots of ads and they all, they all have one thing in common. Most of them uh, focus on boosting your Facebook presence, your Facebook page. So, well, that's, that's great news. If you have a Facebook page and want to get more fans, more, more uh, connections to people or want to promote your content on, on these pages, Everything is great. You have really uh, a lot to choose from. There are uh, page post ads to, to sponsor very specific postings on your page, like photos or text postings. Uh, you can use page like ads to increase your, to, to grow your community. Or you can use sponsored stories to add some social context uh, in advertising interactions people are doing on your, on your page. So that's all nice and everything. But uh, what if you don't, what if your primary goal isn't growing your fan page on Facebook? But what if your primary goal is to advertise an application. There are sponsored stories which display if a friend has, play, uh, has used an app or installed an app or shared an app. That's a little bit better, but still it's very generic because it doesn't really, it doesn't really uh, show what people are actually doing with your app. And from my point of view as an application developer, I think that's the most interesting part. What are people doing with your app? So uh, there would be no reason to have this talk today if there wasn't a positive or a good answer to this question. Luckily, there is an ad unit which solves these problems or uh, solves these disadvantages, and it's called the Open Graph Sponsored Stories, and that's the topic of my talk today. These are ads which are totally built on social context, so they only advertise among your friends and show what you are doing inside an application. So it's all about social context and user interactions. So what's Open Graph? What are Open Graph actions? Uh, this is a platform feature introduced by Facebook about one or two years ago, which allows any type of application, and uh, well, whether, it, whether it's an, a website or a web application or a mobile native app, it really doesn't matter. All these applications can use this Open Graph interface to publish user interaction to the newsfeed uh, of Facebook. We have had websites or web applications, we have had Facebook Canvas applications, but of course, and most, most interestingly, uh, Open Graph can also be used on, on mobile applications. To sum up this introduction, why, why is Open Graph interesting for application developers and uh, content websites? Uh, I tried to, to summarize this in this uh, slide. Users are using your app already, they are doing interactions, and they are publishing this, these interactions as uh, newsfeed stories through your app. These, these stories are displayed on Facebook in several different places, like your timeline profile, the ticker on the right-hand side, but most importantly, it is displayed on the newsfeed itself, which leads to your friends seeing this action and probably interacting with your uh, published action. So, basically, Open Graph is a free tool to use to grow your user base. Um, so, even if you are not talking about promoting these kind of uh, uh, um, uh, newsfeed stories, it still makes sense to think about integrating Open Graph into your website or your mobile application.